but where they gonna be no word. So the best thing you can do is stop is stop losing your influence and start moving some stones. Amen? Yeah. Moving some stones. Somebody say, I'm about to get back. I'm getting back. I'm getting back. Come on, lift your head and say, I'm getting back. I'm getting I'm going to take my place back. I'm gonna take my place back. I'm gonna take my place back. I'm going to take my high place back. So I got to move the stone. In John 11, 38, real quick now. John, Jesus, therefore, groaning in himself, coming to the grave. It was a cave, a stone. Everybody say a stone. A stone laid upon it. A stone laid upon it. A stone laid upon it. A stone is laying upon some things in your life right now. Amen. You wonder why I can't get this to move? A stone is on it. Amen. Why can't I get this to work right? A stone is on it. Amen. A stone is laying upon your situation right now. And God is saying it's time to move the stone. Wave your hand and say glory to God. How many know I got to get this stone off my situation? Amen. A stone is on it. And I got to get the stone off. Hallelujah to God. He said, he said, he says, uh, he came to this cave and it was a stone that was laid upon it. All right. What do you have right now that you want to see prosper in your life? You want something to happen in your life. What, what is it that you want? Maybe a stone is on it. What it, what you want, what you want God to do? What, what do you need? What do you want to move forward in your life. What is your heart's desire? You feel me on this? Yes. Yes. Maybe a stone is on it. Maybe a stone is laid upon it. And God is saying, it's time now to move the stones. Move the stone that is blocking your change. Hallelujah. And sometimes people are not going to be around you to move the stones. And I'm telling you a, a big fat secret. A lot of folks don't want the move. They don't want the stone move from you right. because they're afraid you're going to excel them. They're afraid that you're going to uh, exceed them and go beyond where they're at. So they know you got a stone. They some of these spiritual people can see the stones on your life, but they don't want to help you move them. Amen. So God told me to tell you tonight: you move the stone. Amen. You have capability to recognize the stone. The thing, the problem, the what the stone is, is the hindering. What is it? What is it that, let me tell you what hindrances and stones are. Stuff that ain't pleasing to God and things that just don't need to be there. Things that need to be wiped out of your life. Yeah. Lift your hands to the Lord. There are some things right now that need to just be, can you just, can you just admit tonight they just need to be wiped completely out of my yes. life? Not halfway out. Not part of the way out, not conveniently out. Somebody say glory to God. But they need to be wiped out of my life, amen, as a stone being removed so that progress can come, so that change can come, so that everything that I have been desiring from the Lord will begin to show up. You know what God want to cause you to recognize tonight too? It's not too late. It is, it just a shake your head and say, it's not, it's too, not late. too late. It's not too late. But when you hear the word like this and when you hear it in clarity like this, then it gets late. Right. Did you catch that? It'll get late after you hear it and do nothing about it. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, did you catch that? Yeah. Now you hear it. Now it's time to move upon it because the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Don't try to say, well, I'm going to hold on. To stop holding on to stuff. Stop holding on to all of them rocks and pebbles and stones. Amen. They're, building a, they're building a brick around your spirit that's causing blockage, amen, to the things that God's trying to do, say to you, and for your major change. Amen. 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 I know you're tired of being 75% change. Yes. Yes. Put your hands to the Lord. I know you're tired of representing with 85%. That's not enough either. I'm 90% change. You know, don't, you ain't going to get away with that testimony forever and ever. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. Shut up. That's all you've been saying up for 40 years, for 30 years, for 25 years. That is old and dead. I'm not where I want to be, but thank God I'm not where I used to be. You've been saying that so long till I'm going to throw something at you. Move the stone. Tell your neighbor, move the stone, and you'll never have to say that again. 
themselves say, move the stone and your testimony will change. Move the stone and your victory will come forth. Move the stone and real change will hit your life. Move the stone and blessings start flowing. Amen. Unconditionally and automatically. Move the stone. That's blocking your change. Amen. 